came behind the camera here. I want to cut the grass. Right, look back at this is a present that they actually got for Christmas. I've been keeping it down in the basement until it was nice enough to play. So now here we are in June pulling out a Christmas present. Brand new toy to play with and the kids love it, right? I love how these toys come on these like hard plastic things and you have to like break them off. So then when you break them off, they have the pieces like this and this that are now sticking off the toys and they're as sharp as knives. So now I've got to go through and find a better way. I'm going to cut them. Hit those into the holes. Please be good. I'm going to cut the grass yeah. so I can see you. You guys, please behave. Yep. Okay, the grass is now cut. The backyard, I did the front yard the other day, so now I have to do the backyard. Um, girls? Hey. Hey. So now I'm sweating to death, hot, tired, and it's freezing up time. Can I have, is that red one chili? Yeah. Um, I have, I knew you were. Why you got too many colors? I want one too. Can you open them? Yep, hold on. Pesky children, come here. It's not good enough I got them the Icy Pops. I gotta open them for them too. How's that Icy Pop, new new? What about you, Fancy Pants? Good. Cheese! How are you doing, Mom? Cheese. Good. I right, go, what are the ones down on the end? Look how big our yard looks now. Won't look this big once we get our place set put up, but it's huge. Okay, so the girls are now napping. Thank goodness. Um, <clears throat> everything's almost done out here. Basically, I did some weeding in the front. Um, I just got to pick up their toys from back here, and I can relax for a little bit while they're napping. And then, like I said, we have the last t-ball game soon, so. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Kyle. Um, he's a very hard-working guy, you know, he works a lot, he works long hours, so, you know, again, he's always really tired, so, um, he's actually a very funny, outgoing guy, you know, like, uh, he's quiet around people he doesn't know, but around, like, me and, like, the people who know him best, he's very funny, and he's not always that quiet. Um, just on video, he is. I'm going to try and work it out of him. I'm not forcing him to do any of this. He wants to be there for me. He wants to support me. He wants to support the vlogs I do. And he wants to see and be part of the memories that we will have years to come. We're completely opposite people. I'm very bubbly and talkative and I've definitely got the gift of gab. Um, I like to talk and we're complete opposites. So I think that's why we attract so well to each other. So, you know, um, that's just his personality. It's how he is. It's how I love him. I wouldn't want him any other way. Um, at least he talks to me. So I have a dentist appointment soon. Um, it's just a checkup. I'm going to have them. Um, they're just cleaning my teeth, whatever. But I'm going to have Lily go with me um, and have her sit in the chair possibly for the first time so that they can kind of look at her teeth and she can get a feel of how everything works and what all they do and everything so she's not so scared um, next time she goes. So, dentist appointment coming up. Say all clean. All clean. <laughs> you can open your mouth and talk. 
I'm clean. How many teeth did she say you had? Seven. You have seven? You have 20. Do I have gold teeth? Gold teeth? Mm -hmm. No, we ain't rich. <laughs> She's got them all chasing after. Lily and Daddy's at bat. All right, Lily. Hey, you relax. Good job, Chase. I don't want him to attack us. Oh, look at him go. Where are they going? Down. Towards the water. Don't go down. Why? Mm -hmm. oh, there they go. Aww. Oh, look how cute they are. Are they going down? Oh, they're all hanging out. Oh, this guy's like, I'm going in too. Wait, what is this one going in? Oh, they're playing. Let's go out the So, what did you get? A baseball medal. A medal. Let me see. And she got it for playing t ball. I Yay, was, good was, girl. I was a good sport. You were a good sport. You were very nice and very helpful to the boys on your team. But Dominic's not a boy. Yeah, he is. But she's a girl. No, it's a little boy. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Did you like playing t-ball? Yeah. Yeah. You don't look like you liked it. Are you tired? Yeah. All right, lay down. And you can watch Bubble Guppies. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to give you guys a story tonight. The story I'm going to tell you is part story, um, mostly theory. So, I think I know why Angry Grandpa does not like cats. Tonight, I'm going to tell you guys the story of Muffin. Don't let my dad fool you. He may say, oh, I'm allergic to them cats. I hate them, whatever. Like, don't let him kid you. When we were really little... We had this cat mom found um, when we lived in like this one apartment complex. Dad named it. Not unusual to us at this point because we were still young, you know. He didn't have a true hatred for cats before then. So he, mom finds this kitten, brings it home. Dad names it. Dad wants to name it. Dad names it Muffin. Never forget it. So dad loved Muffin. Muffin hung out with him whenever dad was sitting would usually jump right in dad's lap and he'd pet it and you know he he loved muffin muffin followed him around the house dad fed him or her fed her i think muffin was a girl but fed her took care of her everything she needed he even cleaned the litter box surprisingly we weren't too nasty then and yeah our cat used the litter box so dad cleaned it i'm even saying when he went to work sometimes we would look around all day couldn't find Muffin. Muffin was just gone. Come home. Dad comes home. He's got the damn cat. Took cat to work with him. Muffin rode. To work with Dad. Dad fed him. Kept him in. Whatever. Dad's like, oh, I kept the windows down. Muffin never left the truck. Just stayed in there with Dad. Hung out. You know, went wherever he went. Did whatever he had to do. He bought Muffin the best of the best. You know what I'm saying? Like, Muffin ate the good cat food. Muffin had nice catnip toys and stuff scattered all around our house and we couldn't mess with it because it was his cat's toys. And, you know, he got Muffin the best little treats and Muffin had it all. Muffin had more than we did, but he loved this cat. He just did. He loved it so much. It just 
Now, we had had muffin for probably a year or two, a couple years, I would say. And dad was super attached. One day, uh, we were all sitting at home watching TV and dad was basically sleeping in this recliner. And dad went to get up one night to go get something to drink. And he got up real quick and remember I said he was in the recliner. So he pushed with his feet, popped the recliner in, went to get up and all you hear is the cat. And then silence. Um, it was just one of those like deathly like eerie like oh my god you know what just happened moments so we just all kind of froze and dad turned like as white as a ghost right so he goes over and you know he's he's shaking and he gets down and he goes and he lifts he grabs the bottom of the recliner he goes and pulls it up fucking muffin man muffin had been underneath when dad went to close Muffin must have tried to get up to run and somehow got pushed in between the pieces and Muffin died, needless to say. Uh, super sad. I've never seen Dad that distraught before. Actually, I have. But over a cat, no, I have not. Um, he was so sad. Like, he was crying. Like, I'd never really seen him cry before this point but he was crying and he took it out and he buried it and he did like a service for it, you know, like he really did. I'm not even joking. He put up like a little cross and put like white pebbles and stuff around and he had wrote like muffin on the cross and he was so sad. He was like really heartbroken. Like he had just lost his best friend. And ever since then, he's hated cats and he tells everyone, Oh, I'm allergic to them damn things. I hate a effing cat. I hate them. They're ratty little animals. But don't let that fool you. He did have a cat and he loved this cat. So I think, I mean, it could be a theory. You know, maybe he really was even allergic to muffin and I was just too young enough to know. You know, it, it, it's a theory. But I really think I have figured it out. Angry Grandpa does not hate cats. He's just still heartbroken about his muffin. Other little felines of the world, don't hold it against him. He really does have soft spots for you all deep down inside. He just, he's got to get over working through Muffin. That is just still that empty spot in his heart. And it's still broken. And he's never been able to fill that void because he just won't let another cat in. So maybe if we can all convince Dad if you get so many views, he has to get a kitten. I don't know. You're going to love me for that one, Dad. I know you are. But subscribers, I don't know. However you get a certain amount of subscribers, Angry Grandpa will get a little kitten. And I'll name it Muffin Number 2. So, or Muffin Junior. So, uh, yeah, it's just a theory. Just putting it out there. Uh, that's my story for you tonight. Uh, hope you liked it. If you did, like, subscribe. If you didn't, like, subscribe. Have a good night, guys.